Hello guys, welcome back to another video on Assetto Corsa Competizione on PlayStation 5. Uh, one of the questions I get asked an awful lot about this game is how I increase certain driver ratings. So I thought I'd make a quick video just to go through some of that today. So to view your driver ratings, you just want to go into driver down the bottom left hand corner and click on rating. And here you can see all of your ratings. So you can see I've, I've spent a little bit of time just trying to grind these a bit. Uh, for this video. So track competence. Now this is quite an easy one to increase. All you need to do is head out on track at a track that you've not been before uh, to earn your stars. All you'll need to do is just hook up a few consistent laps without spinning, crashing, going over track limits and you'll quite easily earn your track medal. So you've got three stars at each one and all you need to do is go through each of the tracks at some point and just complete those laps without any mistakes and that will get you your track medals. So consistency, you can see here there's a bit of a graph that shows um, my most recent driving sessions and the consistency in each one. Generally, if you're just doing laps that are very, very similar to each other, uh, your consistency will increase. So for example, I didn't really work on this. It just went up to 99 by doing races. If you're doing a race, uh, that's like an hour long and you're not particularly battling anyone and you spend that whole hour just doing very similar lap times within maybe half a second of each other then your consistency will just improve massively. So the car control one is a bit of a weird one. You can see on the graph how I've, uh, the last couple of goes I've, I've driven uh, I've tried to increase this a little bit and to be honest, I don't think this rating is particularly important. When I'm driving or when I'm trying to push uh, the car quite a lot and get the most out of it in terms of lap time, uh, generally the car control rating decreases a little bit. So although it's a 94 at the moment, I did do some very conservative driving in a free practice session to be able to get uh, the rating up to 94. So. To be honest, I, I wouldn't really focus on that too much unless it's like really low. Um, but yeah, to get the most out of the car, you do need to overdrive a little bit at the moment. Um, maybe the the way the game works out was designed on one of the previous kind of physics tire models that required a little bit less overdriving, I guess. So pace 99, now this is the one we get asked or I get asked about uh, quite a lot. And to increase the pace rating, you need to take part in special events. You just have to perform quite well in one of those and then it will take your best result and give you a rating. So you can see my most recent results on screen now. So I came fourth in, uh, I think that was a Mercedes AMG hot lap around Imola. Uh, that was on PS5, but that's now lo no longer now available. And then the one before, I was actually the fastest ranked driver on that one, uh, but I did that on PS4. So my PS4 uh, rating did carry over when I upgraded to the PS5 version. Uh, but yeah, that, that's back on PS4. I don't know if there are still special events available to do on PS4. I haven't been on the PS4 version for, for quite a while. But yeah, it seems to take your best result. Safety. Uh, this is just quite straightforward, just don't crash into anyone. Um, the more you race, the more this will increase. Generally, if you're racing close to another car, it will increase at a, qu a quicker rate. So, for example, if you're following them quite closely, uh, you know, you might get past someone or someone else gets past you and there's no contact, that will increase. If you have a crash, your safety rating will take a bit of a knock and that's regardless of whose fault it is. So if anyone, any of you are coming from maybe Gran Turismo 7 or something uh, and the safety rating on there, obviously that kind of trot of penalty system tries to work out who's at fault. On ACC, it doesn't matter who's at fault, any contact and your safety can take a knock. But it, you have to drive pretty or you have to drive like a bit of a lunatic to be able to uh, drop your safety rating that much. Generally, after playing the game for a while, your safety rating will go above 90 and, and tend to stay there. And then racecraft, um, I don't know if this is glitched or something, but generally the, the more you race, the more this increases, and then it just kind of stays at 99 eventually. So if you've just started playing the game, this will go up, don't worry about it. Uh, it's supposed to work out 
whether or not you uh, are overtaking people who have a higher racecraft rating than you, I believe. But as you can see, my recent session racecraft, it's all maxed out. So it, yeah, it's pretty easy to increase that rating. And I wouldn't even worry about it um, that much, to be honest. And then finally, we have the competition rating. Now that is on zero. Unfortunately, well, the last time I checked, this still wasn't working on PlayStation 5. So even if you take part in a competition server race, it doesn't give you a CP rating. This is really annoying and I would love to see this uh, resolved because I think it would be great if we could get some competition server races going. Uh, I mean, the competition server isn't really that great. It takes quite a while. You have to wait around for, for a while to be able to join in in a race and so far when i've played it uh, they haven't been overly populated but every now and then i do log in and just see if uh, there are many people in the lobby and i do give it a go sometimes i haven't done it for a little while but i might do it again soon see if there is any improvement with that um, so maybe look out for that in a future video now thanks for watching i hope you found this video helpful let me know in the comments if you're having any issues with the game and I'll try to do my best to help you out. And if you have enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up and I'll see you again on track soon.